What is going on, mortals? Mortal T here, and welcome back to some Ark Survival Evolved for a series I like to call How to Tame, where I cover every single tameable dino in Ark Survival Evolved and give you all the information that you need to tame any creature you want. But first, a small little disclaimer. I am currently on a boosted server, meaning my taming rates are super high. So I am going to be taming a lot faster than most servers out there. This is for video purposes only. All the information that I am going to be giving you can be used on any server. So, with that out of the way, let's get to what we're going to be taming today. And as you can see, it's literally just right in front of me. It's big, it's massive. First introduced with uh, Genesis Part 2. And I believe Genesis Part 2 is the only map you can get these on. I could be wrong, but that's the information that I have gathered. Um, yeah, it is the Tech Strider. A very massive tech creature. And it comes along with a unique taming process. So I have a, like a lot of information for you mortals. So first of all, you're going to need its favorite food. It's only food. It's only taming substance that it will have. Uh, um, now, I think I'm going to pronounce this wrong, but it's this stuff right here. The mutter gel. It's just gel that you uh, pretty sure this is the only um, resource available in Genesis part 2 this is the only map that this resource spawns on I think don't quote me um, so yeah this is the stuff you are going to need in order to tame this and also you're gonna have to uh, have cleared a certain number of missions on Genesis part 2 as well this uh, number increases as the strider level uh, levels increase so the higher the level the strider the more missions you're gonna have to complete so once you walk up to this guy and you've got the gel in the last slot of your hotbar it's gonna give you a prompt so we're going to go underneath it and it's going to say use the gel. Now I have currently got a 135. So depending on the level, it's going to use a certain amount of this gel. So I do recommend having quite a bit. I've got 87 at the moment. So once you have used the gel, it's going to prompt you to access a part of the Strider's body. Now this is where it gets a bit weird so you use the gel you're gonna to have to access a certain part of its body head legs feet body back whatever the part of the body that you need to access will be clearly indicated by sparks coming from that part of the body so let's say we have to access the head that sparks from the head will be appearing so it gives you an indicator of what part you have to access obviously if it's in the head you're gonna have to get up there so either some kind of jetpack or something i would recommend or anything uh, like a pet on your back that enables you to fly would also be really good for this so upon accessing the serm body place that you have to access this is like a hack now you will come up with a weird mini game where you have to align certain green squares all in a row. You'll have to do that multiple times in order for the taming process to go up. Like I said, this will get a bit weird. I am going to show you exactly what you need to do, but I'm trying to tell you before we get there. So it's like weird DNA sequences or coding sequences, whatever you want to call it, with little green boxes. They'll show on screen. Ones are coming up, ones are going down. You just have to align them. So you're going to be pressing a button to align them all in a row. Uh, after you've done the first set, it'll go on to another, then another. Once that set is complete, you will have this red ring around you. And that ring means you have to be in this vicinity of the tech strider. So really be like underneath it, on top of it, whatever. That red ring means that the 
the text rider has to be in that ring in order for the taming to continue. Once you have accessed one part of the body, you will have to wait for the text strider to wonder. Yes, wonder. Make sure you are right next to it. That red circle is very important. So, either you've passed part of the taming process or you fail, no matter which one you do, the text rider will have to wander a certain distance in order for you to go on to the next part of the taming process. So, all that information, I know it's a lot, I am going to show you and it's just, it's climbing everywhere up here. So, I'm going to try and be as good as I possibly can. I will be using uh, flight mode just to make it a bit easier. So, let's get straight to it. We're going to go up to it. We're going to get the prompt to use the gel. We use the gel. If this would stop being a weirdo. Because uh, I think it's... There we go. So... I'm going to use the gel begin hacking so now we have to look for the part of the body that is sparking which is actually kind of hard to do in this rain it will actually tell you target the rear legs yeah. so we need to get up to the rear legs, as you can see, okay, it is slightly sparking right here. We begin the hack, and as you can see on the bottom center of the screen, we're going to line up those green squares that I was on about. We've done the first set, we need to do the next set, and then another set will come up, which we'll have to align, and boom, override successful, taming affin uh, affinity gone up. So, as you can see right here, we're at 29.6, and the right in the... Uh, must wonder a bit before hacking attempt can be made and the numbers are going down right there So that's a much distance. It has to walk uh, in order for it to Get on to the next uh, process of taming as you can see the numbers are going up and down because it's usually from the s it, it says it's from the spot you began the hack from but I'm pretty sure we began the hack from over there and okay the numbers are going down again we'll get the so we're on the forward left foot we can begin the hack we have to stay with it we have to stay with it with this red circle but also we're gonna have to line up this so like I said the the red circle is pretty darn big so don't be too worried so I only have to do two uh, of those attempts in order to actually tame this guy but as you can see it was like the rear back leg and then the front leg and you can get the head the body it, different parts of the body so it is a bit of a weird one but also pretty darn cool because they make it sort of hard on what body parts that you have to access in order to hack it so if you do get the head, you could probably just land on top of the head and hack it and this guy would walk around with you on it and it'd be easy. But if you get one of the legs, you have to walk around with the strider uh, so it's in the red circle and also concentrate on the hack itself. But mortals, that is how you can tame... Oh, now the rain stops. That's very nice of you, Ark. That is how you tame a tech strider. I hope this helps you out, mortals. I hope you found it informative. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll hopefully see you in the next video.